it's it's called the character dream uh, uh, workshop, and so obviously you work very closely with dreams. Uh, how did you come to begin to work with dreams, especially through uh, you know uh, Jung's theories? How did you come to to work in a Jungian way, um, and how did you come to to work with dreams? Well, I'd always uh, written down my dreams and found them to be uh, prophetic. Um, not in a way that I would say I, I would be opening a psychic shop, but um, so I had a strong relationship with dreams. And one of my first teachers, Sandra Seacat, uh, began to work with dreams at a certain point, although I did not work with Sandra when she was working with dreams though she's a very dear friend of mine, and I would consider her a mentor, absolutely. I have no idea, honestly, if I ever would have thought of working with dreams and integrating them into the process work when I began to teach if Sandra hadn't. So I, I definitely do thank her for that inspiration. However, just in order to study it, I went to the Jung Institute, and because I was teaching at Strasbourg at the time, they let me take a lot of the advanced courses. And so I was there as many days a week and nights and weekends for uh, periodically over two decades and had some beautiful mentors. Um, so I wanted to learn about dreams in a way that had nothing directly to do with acting which involved, of course, being um, an analyst and to an analyst. 